What's up, Internet? This topic was chosen by our YouTube members, and you can see more about membership in the video description. So the shop has been around for almost three years now, and in that time, nakabento na rin kami ng items na defective and may bumalik sa amin, nagtatanong, you know, paano yung warranty, pwede po ito palitan. And if you know Hardware Sugar, we take a lot of pride in our no BS warranty policy. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Basically, hindi pahirapan yung warranty sa amin. We won't string you along, we won't say na come back after six weeks, we won't do a lot of the strategies, alam mo na mga tactics nung ibang mga retailers para lang hindi sinasabi na no dun sa warranty claim, pero parang sobrang dinidelay nila until magsawa na si customer, kailangan yung customer mangulit, and things like that. None of that BS happens here at Hardware Sugar. Sobrang simple lang, it's a three R's with us. Repair, replace, or refund. When you come to us with a warranty claim, we'll just choose from those three options on how to act on your warranty. We don't even require original packaging like a lot of the other shops. So, magkakwento lang ako ng iba't ibang mga warranty stories that happened to us over the years. Pero bago nun, magkakwento yung sponsor natin. And swak na swak yung sponsor na to para sa video na to. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. First warranty story is that PG panels break a lot, surprisingly. You know, before I put up the shop, gumagawa rin ako ng sariling rigs, and I never had a TG side panel break on me. So, I thought that it was a rare tong event. Na to. But when we put up the shop, when we started getting more customers, it's not uncommon. Maybe once every six months, every four months, may have contact na, Uy, nasira yung TG side panel ko, nag shatter, and how do we go about this? And to be honest, most of the time, the problem is human error. I naman ni customer na, you know, it broke because it slipped or they weren't careful or something else happened to break the integrity of the glass. But how did Hardware Sugar do? Ito, yung isang P350X na TG pa side panel, we replaced it free of charge. Matrex 55 side panel, also replaced free of charge. Another 350X panel. Ito may, con ito may small charge because it was out of warranty, but we were still able to get it from our supplier. And then this one, a replacement side panel for a Meshify C case, which also was free of charge. So actually, maganda yung track record namin of being able to replace side panels Although, sa totoo lang, nahirapan talaga kami ngayon itong panahon na COVID. A lot of the supplies are not coming in or they're very staggered. So we've had a lot of trouble getting replacement side panels ever since the pandemic started. We did have one interesting case around six months ago. It was a Meshify S2 case and the side panel broke and we couldn't get a replacement for the side panel. So yung ginawa ni customer, pumunta siya sa local glass shop malapit sa kanila tapos nagpagawa ng side panel. And I thought this was very interesting of the customer parang thinking out of the box. And I actually saw the case, he brought it in, tinignan ko. It lo the glass looked pretty good if a bit thicker and heavier than what you would normally associate with a TG side panel. Pero yung major downside ng option na yon is yung adhesive. They had to use a lot of adhesive and kitang kita dun, it's smeared on the glass. So yes, the center part of the side panel is clear, but on the sides, the top and the bottom, you can see where the adhesive was placed and it really smeared on the glass. As neat and as aesthetic as having a replacement side panel altogether, but points for ingenuity. Sa amin, pag malinaw na sira, replace ka agad. Like itong RAM, the lower end of the RGB is obviously faulty. It's not in sync with the rest of the stick. So ito, mga 6 hours lang between the customer sending it back, us confirming na sira nga, and us sending the replacement. This case also, another case na medyo stuck yung RAM RGB or hindi siya in sync with the rest. Again, within the same day, napalitan namin to. And ito naman, fan ng Kraken M22 AIO. Fan stopped spinning, we replaced it within the day. Ito, may isang customer na bumili ng buong rig and then a couple of months later, nag-fail yung PSU niya. Binilik niya yung rig. And unfortunately, wala na kaming model na ganun ng PSU. 
at the same time, yung supplier namin hindi makakomit kung kailan dadating yung replacement unit. And the customer needed his PC for work. So what we did was, we lent him a power supply unit free of charge for the next 4 months. Sa states, karaniwan to, tawag nila loaner unit. But usually, yung din loan kotse, hindi PC part. And sa states lang yun. I can't think of any PC shop that's lent a customer an item like we did. But we were happy to help our customer out kasi yun nga, kailangan niya for work. At the same time, hinihintay namin yung replacement PSU from the supplier. Finally, dumating yung replacement PSU, we installed it in the customer's rig. Tapos nakakaya pa dyan. <laughs> Sira din yung replacement unit. So we had to send him back with again with the loaner PSU and, and actually hangang hanga talaga dito. The loaner unit was a Cooler Master 500 watt bronze and this was a high end rig. The original PSU was 750 watts. Pero nakayanan ni 500 watt CM power supply. Yun, the customer was using it daily for whatever, for gaming, for work, and the loaner unit served him just fine until finally. The supplier determined na ah, hindi na talaga may makakakuha nitong unit na to. Credit memo na lang dito sa shop. And so we told the customer, we'll give you a full refund. We can't replace the PSU. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And he used the refund to buy another PSU from us. Paminsan may kulang sa item. Hindi mo maiwasan, some PC components come with a lot of different wires, screws, fans, and different anti-vibration pads. Very different minute things that are easy to misplace. And hindi mo rin maiwasan yung human error, even the factory workers in China make mistakes. Paminsan kulang talaga yung laman ng isang item. Like may aerocool case, pinadala namin, kulang pala ng screws. Or itong Cooler Master na fan pack, kulang nung SATA power cable. So these might seem like small items, but they were very important. Hindi gagana yung main item without them. So we got in touch with our suppliers and we were able to get replacements, which we sent free of charge. Yung screws, pinadala namin sa Tacloban, free of charge. Yung SATA cable na missing, pinadala namin sa Bulacan, also free of charge. So even the small things, we really try to make sure na Binili yun ni customer, kompleto yan para kay customer. Although sometimes, hindi gumagana yung item kasi hindi lang talaga marunong si customer. Like one experience we had, we had someone in the army, nakabase siya sa Fort Bonny, tapos bumili siya ng 1TB na hard drive. No problem, pinadala namin. Ang problema, he, when he got it, he contacted us na hindi daw madetect sa Windows yung hard drive. Usually our policy is, kailangan muna niya ipadala yung defective item before we issue a replacement. But because, he mentioned na pinakita na rin niya sa tech niya. And you know, army guys have a difficult job. So I wanted to cut them a break and I thought, sige, padala ko na lang yung replacement. So I sent over a second hard drive and meanwhile got the first one back. Yung problema, when we tested the first hard drive, wala namang problema. In the meantime, nung tinesting ni army guy yung second hard drive, nag-report ulit siya na hindi ulit ma-detect. So, Lugi na yung shop, dalawang hard drive na nabuksan, isa lang yung nabili, or we've only been paid for one. And as it turned out, there was no problem with either hard drive. Yung problema, the customer did not format the drive, kaya hindi siya makita sa Windows. And I don't know what kind of tech you are na di mo maisip na kailangan i-format yung drive bago makita sa Windows, but there you are. <laughs> so I had the drive formatted, the first drive, okay na siya, formatted. I sent it back to the army guy, I got the second drive back. And when I got the second drive back, I had it formatted and tested, no problem. And the army customer also did not report any problems with the first drive no naka format na siya. Basically, walang problema sa dalawang drives. Yung problema, hindi lang marunong si customer. And that's a difficulty talaga dito sa shop na you know, sometimes the customer will think na kaya niya yung parts, kaya niya assemble, kaya niya install, and more power. We encourage people to we encourage people to get into the hobby and to try assembling on their own. But they need to also be aware na just because it doesn't work, sira ka agad yung hardware. There's a big chance na baka may human error or user error involved dun. And for the customer, it's you know, it's all fun and giggles. Ay, di pala sira, okay lang, thank you. Pero malaking problema yan sa for the shop kasi if we keep doing that, malalugi talaga kami. We keep sending out replacements na di pala kailangan. Hindi rin namin mabenta yung mga replacements na yon at the retail price kasi hindi na fair to the next customer kasi nabuksan na yon. Or at least si Army Guy, mukhang in good faith naman. Hindi lang talaga niya alam paano gamitin yung brilliant niyang hard drive and also the tech na hindi ko alam ano yung tech na yan. 
But we do get customers, unfortunately, na ginagamit yung lenient warranty policy namin para ibalik yung item even though hindi naman covered ng warranty. For example, itong MSI monitor binili ni customer. After a few days, bumalik siya. Sabi niya may dead pixels. Sabi namin, on a cursory examination, di namin makita, pero it's hard to see dead pixels kung bilisan lang, and you know, and you can't use it for a long period of time. Pero nga, no BS warranty, we don't like making the customer wait, so we issued a full refund for the monitor. And then we started using it in the shop for our test rig. Day in, day out, takabukas yan, ginagamit ng mga ibang customers, ginagamit ng staff namin, wala kami makita na dead pixel. Nilipat ko kay Rafael, ginamit niya pang gaming, ginamit niya for everyday use, wala rin siyang makita na dead pixel. Months later, ginamit niya, wala pa rin, binenta namin kay Ken's Cast at a discounted price kasi basically second hand na siya. And Ken's Cast has been using it as his primary monitor for months now, wala rin siya makita na dead pixel. So suspect siya ko, wala talagang dead pixel. If you know, at least 20, 20 eyes have looked at this monitor over that period of time, wala talagang makita na dead pixel. So suspect siya ko, Yung customer nagaanap lang ng dahilan, gumawa lang ng dahilan para, uy, for whatever reason, ayaw niya yung unit and pinabalik niya. And if there's no defect, that's not covered under our warranty. Um, you know, change of mind is not covered under our warranty. And again, if we keep doing that, malulugi yung shop. So I'm just trying to introduce a little bit the other side of the coin. Of course, as a customer, gusto natin na mabilis na warranty. But at the same time, kung tanggap lang ng tanggap yung shop, wala ng shop. And yes, on one hand, medyo tanga kami for accepting the MSI monitor back. Pero kasi yung default state namin is to trust our customers. If you tell us it's not working, we will believe you. Yun nga, baka dapat may warranty policy yung shop against customers that abuse our warranty policy. Kasi sa totoo lang, because for the customer, a no BS warranty is great. But for the shop, it can be deadly. Our margins are not that great regardless of what you think na sobrang overpriced ng ibang items. And I know some of you are thinking about that. Pero sa totoo lang, the margins are not that great. One or two items, especially expensive ones like monitors, can really make or break the shop. Tapos isipin mo, that's just one item for one customer. But ang daming ibang mga items na pwede mangyari na ganun. So we have to balance the no BS warranty against also the interest of the shop. And to be fair, hindi nga talaga covered yung change of mind or imagined defect sa warranty policy namin. So all of these stories are not meant to embarrass the brands. Kasi yung tingin namin dyan, no part works 100% of the time. Regardless gano ka premium yung brand mo, things will break down. And to be honest, as a shop, we're also not embarrassed when we sell something that breaks down. Kasi yun nga, the only inevitable thing in life are death and taxes. Everything else is probability and chances. Walang 100%. May mga items talaga na masisira. But what the brands and the shop should be ashamed about is if something really does break down, tapos hindi ka tinulungan ng shop mo, kung saan mo nabili yan. And that's where our no BS warranty comes into play. You trusted us with your money, you trusted us to give you a quality part, and when it breaks down, we won't break that trust. We will replace, repair, or refund that item. Not to say that we approve all warranty claims. Paminsan, wala talagang problema sa hardware, yung software yung problema. And this happens a lot with GPUs. Any builder, anyone you know who's been gaming for any length of time knows na paiba-iba talaga yung drivers. Paminsan, rock steady, sobrang stable. The next month, watak-watak na siya, ayaw na mag-load yung ibang games. Even though two weeks ago, they were working fine. There's nothing wrong with the inherent hardware, the problem is software, and that's not covered by our warranty. Or sometimes we get customers that just don't want to comply with our warranty terms. For example, mahalaga dito is that the customer bears the cost of sending the item back to us. And we've had a lot of customers from Davao, Negros, Cebu, wherever, outside of Metro Manila, na sila talaga mismo nagpapa-LBC, nagpapa-Ninja Van, however means they want to send it over back to us. Because we do need to check the item first before we can determine our action on the warranty. And you know, the majority of customers are fine with that. But there is a minority, a very vocal one, na sakit sa ulo, na sinasabi na, de, de maniwala ka sa akin, sira itong nabenta mo sa akin. It magpadala ka ng replacement. Tapos, when you tell them na they need to send back the original item, doon sila nagagalit. Na, eh, bakit ko pa ipapadala? Nandito ako sa some province outside of Metro Manila. Binenta mo to, dapat ayusin mo. 
these are very rare occurrences, but they do happen. They're an unfortunate minority. Um, we're very clear on the warranty terms that you do need to send it back at your own cost. If you don't want to comply with that, then please don't buy from us. Buy from your local store. If you're in Baguio, buy from your local store in Baguio, in Cebu, in Negros, in Davao. Wherever you are, your local store, if you buy from them, will be your first point of contact. And of course, mas madali naman na bumalik sa local store mo kaysa sa na ipadala pa yung item dito sa amin sa Manila. If you don't want to run that risk that you might need to pay for the item to get sent back here, then the best option would be a local store. And yun din yung frustration ko paminsan na the customer wants everything. You know, I think Hardware Sugar really gives a lot already to the customer. Because sinimula namin tong shop na to kasi customers did kami and we were so frustrated with the service of other PC shops. And so we put it up to be the exact opposite of other PC shops. But that's not to say that walang obligations yung customer. We also ask certain things from the customer, very basic things like send the item back to us so that we can test it. And that's also why we suggest buying from your local stores. If not from us, marami actually ibang PC stores na okay din dito sa Manila and outside of Manila. But if you get it from internationally, like yung components mo galing Amazon, galing New Egg, maganda nga yung selection, paminsan mas okay pa yung price. Pero yun nga yung warranty. You have very difficult time claiming on the warranty for items bought abroad. And hindi ako magsisunungiling sa inyo. Paminsan, bumibili din ako for my own use because there are some items abroad na hindi talaga available sa atin. But I'm aware and I acknowledge and I'm comfortable running that risk that warranty might be a problem. And I wish for the minority of customers na sakit talaga sa ulo, they understand that this is a two-way street, that they also have obligations they need to meet before we can determine the warranty claim. Hindi lang bigay ng bigay yung shop. We sold you something, it doesn't seem to be working. At least give us the chance to examine the item to determine for ourselves that it's really not working. So these are just some of the warranty stories we've accumulated over the almost three years that we've been operating. I'll leave the link to our Facebook album where we have more of the stories. And if you like hearing these stories or yung mga kwento lang tungkol sa shop, uh, let us know in the comments so we can do more of these kind of videos. And actually, marami akong kwento sa live stream ko from the shop. I do a live stream every month from the shop where I talk about new stock, uh, warranty stories, customer stories. And yun nga, that's something different about Hardware Sugar. We're very open about the inner workings of the shop. Um, and again, very different from a lot of the other big stores where, you know, parang focus lang nila benta. So, Facebook posts nila puro benta. Uh, YouTube nila puro benta. And, you know, for me, that's boring. Yes, of course, as a businessman, as, you know, the owner of the shop, I want to make money. But at the same time, I really like PC parts. I think they're super cool. And, yun nga, if you go through some of my other videos, paulit ulit kung sinasabi na the motto of the shop is cool parts to cool people. If you know you easily get frustrated, if you have a hard time understanding that you need to send the item back to us, then maybe you can buy from somewhere else. But I, I really, but we put up hardware sugar so that we could have quality parts in the Philippines, and yun that's why this video is a part of that, a part of showing the customer, showing the audience, sort of a little bit behind the scenes of what goes on, and the many many headaches <laughs> in running a PC shop. Thanks for watching. And all the thanks in the world to our top fans, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Richard Onkinko, Ian Meru, and Liam Magnaye. Your support really goes a long way to helping upgrade the production quality of the channel, and we really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much.